entrance. So we're in the kitchen today because we're gonna be talking about gut loading. We'll go over what gut loading is, how we gut load, how often we should gut load, etc., etc. Gut loading is the process of feeding your bugs nutrient dense food to increase the nutritional value that chameleons require. In the wild, chameleons are eating a variety of bugs. Then those bugs are eating a variety of fruits and vegetables. And that's how a chameleon gets a well balanced diet. To mimic a well balanced diet that a chameleon would find in the wild, it's our responsibility as keepers to gut load our bugs with a variety of fruits and vegetables. If you think about it, if we don't feed our bugs, then they're just gonna be empty shells or empty vessels that are being fed off to our chameleons. So we want our bugs' bellies to be full of all the micronutrients that the chameleon needs in order to thrive. Since we want that food to be in our bugs' belly, I wouldn't recommend gut letting your bugs more than 12 hours um, before you're gonna feed them off. You want that food to still be in their belly by the time you feed them to your chameleon. So I'll gut load my bugs the night before, so then come morning time, they've been able to eat overnight and then they're ready to go for Neptune. What really makes or breaks a good gut load are the fruits and vegetables that you're feeding to your chameleon. There are some that are superior and some that are inferior and have better value and lower value for your chameleon. What it really comes down to is you want fruits and vegetables that are high in calcium and low in phosphorus. High levels of phosphorus inhibit the absorption of calcium. An A plus gut load would include mustard greens, collard greens, turnip greens, dandelion leaves, papaya, alfalfa, and watercress. Things that would make up an A minus to B plus gut load would be things like sweet potato, apples, oranges, butternut squash, mango, and kale. You can also add in dry ingredients such as bee pollen and flaxseed. Gut load ingredients that you would want to avoid would be things like potato, cabbage, iceberg or romaine lettuce, dog food, cat food, tomatoes, corn, spinach, any kind of vertebrates, canned or dead insects. I'll have a complete list down in the description of good, sort of good, and bad gut load. So there are commercially available gut load formulas available for you to purchase but those tend to be lower in calcium um, and may not have all the variety that your chameleon requires. So I personally like to make a fresh gut load for Neptune. So I'm gonna show you how I do that. So for today's gut load, I'm using mango, carrot, sweet potato, and mixed greens that I'm going to feed to some jibby roaches and some superworms. So first off, I'm gonna want to wash my ingredients if they need to be washed. Uh, my mixed greens already come pre-washed. My sweet potato and mango obviously have skin around them to protect them, but so I'm gonna rinse off this carrot. All right, and then I'm just gonna cut them into smaller pieces here. Just a couple slices will do the trick. This carrot will last me months at a time here. So I've got that. I'm gonna throw that into my feeder cup here. Some little carrots for those guys. Then I've got some mango. Take out my mango. And as you can see, I've already been working my way through this mango, so I'm just gonna cut off a little piece of mango. And like, I'm only feeding a couple bugs at a time, so I don't need to like put this whole mango in here, right? A little bit will do the trick if you're only feeding a couple bugs at a time. So got a little mango. Then we're gonna go for some sweet potato. So same idea. Just a little bit, throw that in there, and then we'll get some mixed greens here. So there are some spinach leaves, and I said, you know, spinach isn't that great, so I'll typically tend to avoid the spinach leaves and go for more like the leafy collard greens that are in this mix here. So I'll just break off a few pieces of the good stuff. Whoa, we're losing spinach. All right, so just a little bit, and then throw that in there, and Whoa, close. That's all there really is to it. So now my bugs can munch on these goodies um, a couple hours before that they'll get fed off to Neptune. And then I'll just change out my gut load, either switch out the ingredients or make sure it's fresh. And then that's all there is to it. It's pretty simple. Thanks for hanging out with me in the kitchen today and learning a little bit more about gut loading. Feel free to give the video a like, subscribe to the channel. You can follow Neptune on Instagram at Neptune the Chameleon. And I hope you have a good day. Thanks for watching. 
Neptune. Look at the camera. Over here. No, this way. Say cheese.